Today I'm going to do a review on this car phone holder by CIV Power. I received this for free through a website called Thomason in exchange for a review, but all opinions are completely my own. I'm going to go ahead and get started and take a look at the product. First thing that we have here is just the box that it came in. And as you can see, it did come in three separate pieces and you have to put it together. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, all you're going to do is take this piece here and then this piece and as you can see there are like little tips on here and you just stick them in the slots and push it up and then it locks in place and then this circle here you're gonna take and you're gonna loosen this up and then it just pops right on this ball here there we go and then once you get your phone in the position or the angle that you want it, you can actually tighten this and then it'll keep it in place better and it has a firm grip on it. Um, and then this here actually moves, as you can see, all the way around and then it tightens over here by this little piece. And then in order to do further adjustments, you have a telescopic arm here. This arm allows you to add up to two inches to it and this way if you want your phone closer to you you have two more inches that you can pull it out and get it closer to you so that's a really cool feature um, and all you do is loosen and tighten this little knob here and it allows you to do that so I think that's a really cool feature um, if you need your phone closer for some reason, then this allows you to do that. Um, a couple of things here before I mount it on the counter here and show you. It does have the gel pad here, and the gel pad can actually be like reused. Um, all you have to do is take water and kind of wash it off, and it's going to like kind of reactivate the stickiness of it and pretty much put it back to like new condition. So I think that's a really cool feature too. Um, a lot of times the gel pad on mounts tend to wear out really easily and when they get dirty they just don't stick. So I really like that you can just wash this one with water and it's pretty much like new. And here on like the mount itself, it's pretty much a one-handed mounting and unmounting of your phone. In order to put your phone on, you're just going to squeeze this, and it opens this up and locks it in place. And then there's a button right here, and what that button does is when you put your phone on here, it actually pushes this button, and the arms lock in around your phone for a secure fit, and it doesn't damage your phone when it does that. Um, and then down here, they have what they call it's a foot, and it's pretty much the peg that just gives your phone a little bit of more support in order to hold it up so it doesn't really slide down. This actually moves. There's a little, let's see if I can show you here, this little button here, it just slides back and forth and that allows you to adjust this little foot based on your charging port. Um, you can put it in the middle and hold it like that. And then if you need to charge your phone, like my phone, the charging port is on the, it's like right in the middle of it. So I would have to move it to the left or the right in order to plug it in and charge it. So I kind of like that feature. I think it's different. Um, a lot of times there are two little feet on here and you can't really move them. You can either open them and close them, but that's it. You can't really move the position. So I really like this. It makes it more universal um, because the charger can be pretty much on whatever side of the phone. Like I said, mine's directly in the middle. Some of them are over to the left, some of them are to the right. So I really like that you can kind of adjust this and make it work for your phone. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be able to use my phone because I'm actually using it to film this. So what I'm going to do is actually just use my phone cover because my phone cover is sturdy enough and my phone's actually in the cover when I use it, so this is more the size of what my phone would be in the mount. So I'm going to kind of show you that and then talk to you about 
some of the things that I like about it, some of the things that I'm not really crazy about, um, and they'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this arm back in, because I don't really need it, so we're going to put that back in there. And I'm going to pull this off here. As you can see, it is really sticky. So, it's definitely going to hold really well to the surface. I'm actually going to mount it right here. And then there's like a button right here on the inside. And once you get it where you want it, you just push this down. And it gives you a really firm hold, as you can see. So we're going to put this on here. Um, now, I will go ahead and tell you, the phone that I have, I have a larger size phone, and with my case on it, it is six inches long by three inches wide. This um, mount is good for phones that are 2.3 inches by 3.2 inches wide. So my phone is right on the edge of being too wide for this mount. Um, so, I mean, that's not really an issue for me because I have come to understand that I do have a larger phone. And, you know, that's just what happens. So, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a couple things that I'm not really thrilled about when it comes to this um, mount. Like, I really like the mount. I think it's really sturdy. It's really durable. But, um, one thing that I... I I'm just not really that comfortable with is having a larger phone like I have. I actually have the LG G4 and if any of you have that phone or have looked at that phone, it is actually curved. Um, I don't really know how well you can see it with my phone cover, but you can see there a little bit. It does curve, so it makes my phone wider in the middle and then the edges still stick out that far. So, one of my concerns is that the arms on the mount are not tall enough, I guess you'd say, or wide enough, however you want to look at it, to actually really make me comfortable holding my phone in there. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to pop this out. And see, I don't, it doesn't really click a whole lot in because my phone only has 0.2 inches to give. Um, so I pretty much have point one on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off here so I can show you a little bit better. Because I really like the phone mount. My only problem is with the arms because I don't know if, you know, maybe they didn't take into consideration certain phones. I mean, most phones typically are completely flat where the one I have is actually curved. Um, but as you can see right here, I'll show you, the arm is pretty much level with my phone cover. And, you know, I mean, this is the easiest way to show you because like I said, my phone's in here all the time. So, you can see it's really level and I would feel better if the arms were longer or wider like I said, however you want to look at it, but I would prefer the arms to come out a little bit more and kind of really hug my cover um, because then I would know that my phone was securely in the mount where right now I am kind of, you know, it's in there, but I feel like one little slip and it's not going to be in there very much because as you can see, this is actually really good to show you how well it holds. Um, See, I only have that little section right there is the only thing holding my phone in. And when I put my phone in here, it gets heavier. So it's, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. I mean, I really like the, the mount itself. I think it's great. Um, it's probably just my phone. But these are just a couple things that I'm, I want to point out. Um, because if you do have a phone like this one that is wider and thicker, than some of the other phones, then this is definitely something to take into consideration. Um, 
because you know the mount does hold phones that are up to 3.2 so the phones are going to be larger um, that's really my only concern with this mount is the fact that it doesn't really hold secure if you have a thicker phone um, and I mean it holds a little bit better when it's just my phone without the case but there again my phone's rarely out of the case because I'm, I want to protect it because it's a lot of money. So I rarely take it out. I just took it out for the purpose of this video in order to show you that because I needed to use my phone to film this. Um, but here's the bottom. I can go ahead and show you this a little bit better too. My charging port's here and my headphone port is here. So I have this over to the side. So that just kind of shows you, you know, most of the time it's in the middle. But you can slide it over out of the way, and I can actually charge my phone while it's on the mount. So that's a really good feature. Um, overall, I really like I really like the product. I think it's a good product. It's well made. I really like the telescopic arm that adds two inches. I think that's a good too. It's definitely different than a lot of the other ones. Um, like I said, the only concern I have is for my phone and just the arm length or width, however you want to do it. That's really my only concern for this product. Other than that, I think it's really good. If you have a smaller phone, then I wouldn't hesitate at all if your phone's thinner. Um, but if you have a thicker phone, I would kind of maybe take into consideration, you know, the thickness of your phone and things like that. Um, I tried to show you pretty much the different angles just to give you a better idea of everything. But if you are interested in checking out this product and possibly purchasing it, I will put the link in the description below. And if you are interested in becoming a member of Thomason, I will put that link in the description below as well. And thanks for watching.